The guys at Jacobs Creek have managed to rip out this incredibly new innovative line, Better by Half. We're working with the Pinot Grigio today. Uh, we're gonna be pairing that with my take on a classic, a prawn Caesar salad. Couple of little twists in there. Uh, and the whole idea of this dish, we've got that, that lovely light, uh, crispy, crunchy, fresh, uh, aromatic. Pairing that with the Better by Half Pinot Grigio. All of the flavor, not sacrificed, half the alcohol. I feel like everyone's been doing their bit lately in moderating their lifestyle. So I think we've, we've had our fair share of hibernating and comfort food. The purpose of this dish is just to serve as a little reminder that even on those lovely warm winter days, it still calls for a light, fresh and flavorsome dish to be perfectly paired with a glass of chilled white wine. It's a fantastic combination and one not to be forgotten because the cooler months are rolling around. We're going with the yogurt dressing. So we're kind of leaning towards the, the healthier option. Teaspoon of dried turmeric, teaspoon of the ground coriander, half a teaspoon of the ground chili. So one clove of garlic, just hit that with the microplane. Generous pinch of salt in there. And if you've got it, if you've got it, just a little, little squeeze of honey, all right? So what we're trying to do here, put a little, uh, little hit of sugar in there that's gonna to help to get some beautiful char marks and caramelization on the prawns, because they're not gonna be on there long. It's not a deal breaker uh, if you can't, but if you can, it's certainly gonna help you with the color. It's gonna take the prawn heads off here. Then all we do, on its back, and then we're just gonna make an incision right down the middle. Flip it over, go back the other way, and then we just pop that, open the whole way down. Yep. Amazing, so what, what we end up with is like little prawn fillets, prawn cutlets. There's so much more surface area on there. So when you get that marinade, it's going all over, inside, outside, up, down, the whole way round. I feel like there's a lot of people out there that would agree with me how frustrating it can be when you go somewhere and you order a, a chicken Caesar, prawn Caesar, and you get it, and it's like an enormous bowl of lettuce. And they, they sort of put everything else on there just as like mere seasoning and garnishes. This is, this is where we break it down, we get the ratio right, so we're gonna be generous. Big in the flavor profile with the prawns, plenty of them. Prawns butterflied, marinade straight out of the top. So to avoid having the stain on your fingers from the dry turmeric, just get in there with the tongs, give it a little rotate, massage it all through, and they are looking pretty good. Dressing, okay, so the base of that, we've got honey yogurt. I'm gonna go with another single clove of garlic just done over the microplane. Zest of one lemon in there. Anchovies. I can't force you, but I can suggest that they are an irreplaceable seasoning. Get them in there, there's not a lot of them. We've got about four anchovy fillets and we're just gonna dice these up. So good. Coriander stem, finely diced into the dressing. A little bit of dill. So this is, this is a, a prominent ingredient that you'll find in a couple of Vietnamese dishes. If you're gonna be serving this up to your mates on the weekend, it's just that something a little bit different in there. We're like, ooh, what's that? I like that. A little bit of dill, never goes astray. So we've got some spring onions here. I'm gonna go the white part. So the bottom part of this, finely sliced into our dressing. You've got an incredibly upbeat, bright, textural Caesar dressing. I much prefer putting in a little bit of knife work, having that texture, having those, those chunky ingredients in there, uh, instead of just putting it into a blender or food pr processor and making it one dimensional. Let's get some depth going on here. Little cheek of lemon. Squeeze that in there. What that lemon is doing there, of course we're getting some acidity, but it also just thins the dressing out a little bit. So with like an extra 30 to 45 seconds of effort, what we're doing here, what we've done, what we're aiming to achieve is not just create a great dish, we wanna create a great experience all round. Boiling water, eggs in one at a time, lower them in, six minutes. Bake it in, so we're just gonna to start to render that out, get a little bit of color happening, and then we'll follow up with the breadcrumbs. So we've rendered out the flavor from the bacon, impart that into the croutons. We've got a nice little marriage happening here. Absolutely hammering through this recipe. We've got to cook the prawns. We're pretty much there. Flip these over just to finish them off. You can see we've got an amazing bar marking there. Beautiful color. Oh yeah. That charry barbecue flavor that we've imparted onto the prawns is gonna pair so well with the fruit sweetness uh, in the Better by Half Pinot Grigio. Uh, the crisp acidity is gonna bounce so well off that yogurt dressing. So good hit of the dressing on the base here. Yeah, with a few of the cos leaves. Look at these prawns. Oh my God. Sit that guy on top. It's like jingle bells. Finish it off with a hailstorm of the bacon and the croutons. Uh, a little bit more lemon, just to freshen it up over the top. 
It's so nice and so refreshing to see a new innovative version uh, of an absolute classic. We're, we're not sacrificing on flavor. That dish is still there with its heart and soul, with all the concepts, but we're just, you know, we're just tweaking it. We're just having a bit of fun. The by Half Range is a reinvention of the wheel. So it only felt right to pair it with a fresh face classic. I mean, essentially what we've done here, we've put together a little toolkit for you guys to exercise a bit of self-love over the coming weeks.